Hey everybody and uh, welcome back to Kumba Plays Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Welcome to the second episode. Alright, so as you can see here we just got the second pendant and uh, now we're ready to move on to the third pendant and of course take on that weird ass wizard that has taken over Hyrule Castle. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing now. So let's go uh, kick his ass. Um, maybe. I hope. Because uh, I just have to point out to you guys, this uh, this third boss, like where the, you get the third pendant, kicks my ass all the time. Dude always kicks my ass. Hey, I don't have to talk to you. You're just going to tell me to go to the mountain. I know to go to the mountain. So I'm going to the mountain. And we have 357 rupees. We get 500, though. We can go get the, uh, the flippers. And if we get the flippers, we can upgrade a couple of items. So maybe we'll do that before we... Uh, finish this episode, you know? Might as well take uh, take care of a couple little extra things, you know? So we don't have to do them later. I don't need you. We're already all healed up. Uh, that's the thief hideout. Don't need that. All right. Ooh, you almost got me. Oh, wait, there's something up here, isn't there? I feel like there's something up here. Whoops. Oh, because you need the, the thing. You need the hammer. Oh, wait, no, that's just to uh, transport to the Dark World. All right, well, we don't really need that because, I mean, we're not at the Dark World yet. Yeah, double kill. About time I did something right. All right, uh, where the where am I going again? I know I'm going to the. the is it the uh, Death Mountain? We're going to Death Mountain. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me? Um, I'm probably taking the longest way possible here, but whatever. Um, I need more. Rupees, so we can get more, um, we get those flippers. Because you might as well just take care of the flippers when you can, right? Eh, we still need a lot of rupees. So, unless I stumble across a ton, then I mean, we're not getting them. Uh, yeah, screw it, let's just go to the mountain. Let's just jump into it. Alright. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Get away. That's right. Don't mess around with the king. I shouldn't call myself the king. Because as I said before. I will probably die. At this next boss. He kicks my ass often. It's it's just it's the, the random turns like you, you think you got him and you're about to attack the tail and he's just like ooh comes right for you bounces you off the edge and everything oh he's such a dick yep yep you got it man the golden power or is it golden powder I mean he's an old guy he probably likes you know certain powders you know to help with uh, issues you know dry skin. And all that stuff and sores and myriad of things that uh, older fellas unfortunately have to deal with. You son, you break off. I don't like you guys. Yes, you do talk too much. Yeah, I got my mirror. Let me in. There's also a way here where you can, um, you can, like, glitch the dash so you can, like, get stuck on dash speed just walking around. I don't know how the hell to do it. I tried to figure it out one day. I did not succeed. And uh, that's pretty much the end of the story. I can't figure it out. Um, I tried to watch a tutorial on it. Couldn't do it. Um, watched a couple of tutorials I haven't been able to figure out. Like, um, 
like doing the uh, the zero star run of Mario 64. I got close. I got close. I couldn't quite pull it off. So maybe one day I'll get it. I don't know. Hey, what's in here? Nothing. Because I need the hook shot. Or I can jump down to do stuff. And I think we're going to get another heart here. Do we have three quarters? We do! Sweet! Yeah. Another heart. You know, it's funny, after like playing this game again, after playing uh, uh, Link Between Worlds, if you haven't played that, it's great. It's a direct sequel to uh, Link to the Past. A direct sequel. And, uh, boy howdy, it's good. Um, but uh, the whole time you're, you're renting all the same equipment from this game. Uh, from a rabbit dude. And you're like, why am I renting this from some rabbit? That's, that's, this doesn't make any sense. Only to then realize that uh, the rabbit is actually Link. Which I think they make... I don't know if they actually reveal that in the game or anything. It's just... And trust me, that does not harm the story of the game by knowing that. Um, so if you're like, spoilers, bro, uh, sh shut up. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that important of a part of the game. But, um, it's definitely cool. But, but as I'm playing it, I'm like, why do I have to rent off this asshole? And why does he have all this gear? And it dawns on you. Oh, that makes sense. I was just a stupid. That's all. There's also a, a fella you can fight um, who's like an absolute badass and he fights just like Link, but he's like a skeleton. And uh, my theory is that it's actually Link, but it's like dead Link, obviously. Um, like the eternal Link. You know, he is dead, but he's still able to fight. Um, and teaches you a couple things. You get better as you play, play against him. Uh, but, uh, it only makes sense that that would be Link, and, uh, fuck, I guess the rabbit would be Link, um, that just kind of time travels, because, I mean, you time travel in this one, too, you time travel in a few of them, so, it just makes sense that you, you're still Link, it's just a rabbit version. I know I'm rambling on, you guys are like, what the hell are you even talking about? He's not really a rabbit, he's a... But he looks like the rabbit you become in the dark world until you get the, uh, the, the moon sphere, whatever the frick it is. The thing I'm about to get. Oh, you friggers. Yeah, I'm not good against these things, if you, if you can't tell already. I'm really bad at killing those things, uh, which is why I'm so bad at the boss, obviously, because that's all the boss is, is a big one of those. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah. I gotta light the fire. Stupid. I thought I was getting the uh, key by, um, you know, killing those guys. Cool. Uh, yes, mirror. Boom. Whew. Yeah, that's cool, man. Uh, let's make it blue. I think blue makes it easier here. Yes, it does. All right, scoop by these people. Or people, not people, but whatever the frig they are. And you can go right down here. Look at that. That nice little skip there, eh? Got him. Oh, I hate these things. I'm so bad at fighting them. It's probably because I, I tense up. 
Every time there's one on the screen, I just tense up. I'm like, oh god, this is gonna get me. I was just about to be like, what the hell is that noise? I forgot about these little, little rhino dudes. Which, uh, are these little rhino dudes from Super Mario World? That's just dawning on me. I think they are. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe they, they're just like vaguely similar and I'm just looking into it way too much. Boom, triple kill. Uh, oh, I should have hit the thing, my jig. Okay. So, let's scoot over here. There we go. Get our little orby thingy. You found the moon pearl. This protects the hero from changing effects of the golden power. Thanks, bro. Uh, where do I hit the thing to change what sticks up and what doesn't? I think it's down. I think I. I think I have to actually go all the way down here. I do. Because I need those hearts. Clearly, I need those hearts. I'm not good at anything. I'm still not going to have enough rupees when I leave here to, uh, uh, oh, man, one of these is a thing. I, I, I'm pretty sure one of these is a thing. Nope. Nope, it's just there to eat your bombs. Okay, whatever. And I know these ones aren't. All right, boss music. Oh, this fucking asshole, man. I hate him. Oh, right away. Right away. See? Oh, my God. Oh, I hate this boss. I hate this boss. I love this game. I hate this one single boss. I love every part of this game, but I hate this guy. It's the only part of the game that frustrates me, man. You see? You see? He's the most frustrating boss, I think, in like any Zelda game. Because I I can't name you one that's more frustrating than him. Ocarina of Time, uh, Link's Awakening, Between Worlds, uh, just a any of them. The original... <sighs> Fuck. Fuck! His bounce literally sends you to the other side of the room. It's so stupid. Like, again, it's such a perfect game, but, like, who designed this one boss? It's like, he's either, he either did not think it out, or he was just purposely being an asshole. There is no other explanations. Yeah, there's no other explanations for it. He either didn't think it out, or he was just like, I'm gonna be a real prick, and make some people just stop playing at this point because apparently some did not a lot but i actually came across a few reviews where people were like yeah i made it to the, uh, the third pendant dude and uh he pissed me off so much i just stopped playing and i mean it's it's sad to see that because it's again such a perfect game you hate to see anybody just like get discouraged enough to stop playing for for any reason but uh yeah I can totally see being discouraged by this guy enough to stop playing the game. Because, um, he is a bullshit boss. Like, the rest of the game, very fair. Very, very, very fair. In fact, a lot of this game is overly easy. But this one guy, he is ridiculously, like, frustrating. Just ridiculously frustrating.
There you go. Jesus. But he, like, come on. I know some of you are watching like, this guy's easy. Shut your goddamn mouth, dude. We all know he isn't. So there's no point lying about it. It's like Dark Souls. Some people are like, man, Dark Souls is an easy game. You're lying. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to us. I love Dark Souls. I've beaten it many, many times. And I will not say it's easy. Because I'm not an asshole. Just because I beat it. Like, Jesus, like ten times now. Doesn't mean it's an easy game. Which is a, uh... Oh, just a big fallacy the point that pops up with, like, video games in general. That boss, or that game, or that something, that stage, that's easy. Shut the hell up, dude. <laughs> Again, some parts of this game are actually easy. Actually, a lot of it uh, is, is fairly easy. It's just that one boss, man, he really frustrates me. But I guess that's essential, you know. You can't just have the whole game easy. You gotta have some parts hard. But I do feel it's kind of dickish to just make them, you know, one hit knocks you off the edge. I do feel like that's kind of, still kind of a dick move, no matter how you really slice it. But uh, it doesn't matter. Ooh, Jesus. Yep, the trees full of bees are a dick move too. But that's one that kind of comes with the uh, consequences of trying to, you know. Get as many rupees and shit that you can out of trees. Ooh, I didn't even need that heart, and I just took damage to get it. That was stupid of me. Later, dudes. Maybe there's some rupees in here I can get. I don't know. I just wanna I, I just wanna go get the thing, you know? Oh the magic powder. Oh, we didn't get the powder, guys. My god. So stupid. That's like one of the first items I normally get. I don't know why I didn't go get that right away. But let's go get it, get it now. What's in here? A boom! I'll take a boom. I thought there was a... Oh, it's over here. I was just going to say, I thought there was a path to the, uh, to the forest this way. Ugh. Boop. Boop. Alright. Let's go get ourselves some... Pick ourselves some mushrooms, guys. Dilly. Nope, nope. Stay in the hell away from him. I'm trying to keep my rupees. Not give them away. Uh... Uh, there's no use going down there to that guy either. Let's just get our mushroom and get out of here. I think it's this way. I think? No, it's not this way. Okay. There it is. Hello, dancing mushroom. Rotten fruit, eh? It's a mushroom. It's not rotten fruit. It's a mushroom. Uh, that center one's a hole. I'll just avoid that now. You fucking dick. Alright, we can take this to uh, the witch. The witch bitch. Get ourselves some potion. Not potion. Um, the pow powder. Magic powder. Um, which I don't really use often, but it's worth just getting right away. Yeah. And you can chuck it in that one spot and double your magic, which is pretty badass. Well, it says uh, make your magic use half going forward with every uh, magical attack and stuff. But, I mean, it's essentially just doubling your magic, let's be honest with ourselves. Is there really a difference? Oh, that's what's down here. I, I, I had a feeling it was rupees. I don't know why. I felt it was rupees. It was not rupees. It was a fairy. Anyway. We're making good time. We're uh, only 20 minutes in. To episode 2. 
All right, let's go to the graveyard, see if we can get some Hrupus. Because again, man, I want I want to get... Damn it. There we go. It's probably just going to be these ones, like this guy up here. Yeah. I don't know why I'm searching all of them, because Lord knows it's not all of them. It's like two of them that actually go somewhere. Crap! I'm back in the castle. Ooh, these guys give me... Eh, not lots of coins, but they are coins. Rupees, but, you know. I almost got 400. I think it's 500 for the flippers, though. Oh, in here there's rupees. I can feel it. In the cockles. Yes! There we go. Let's go get ourselves some flippy floppies. Huh, gang? Yeah. Oh, you little bastard. Damn. I don't know why I'm trying to get more rupees. I don't really need them for anything, but... I'm a greedy, greedy fucker, I guess. It's just who I am. Deep down in my core. Which is very weak and gelatinous, like I've mentioned before. Not a strong core. No. Apples? Apples? Yeah, I have full health, but I still want my apples. Apple a day keeps scanning away. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That took longer than it should have. Alright, now we get our powder. Uh, mushroom. Here you go, bro. Come back to shop later for something good. I will. Alright. It's flippy floppy time. Which means better shield time. Which means better... Boomerang time? I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering what you can upgrade. I usually just chuck everything in there and just hope for the best. Uh, I think it's only a couple things that actually get better. So, either way, we'll, we'll go for it. I don't think it does anything to the sword. Because your sword is just your sword. Until you get the Master Sword. Oh, we can get that too while we're here. <sighs> Walking diagonally is way too difficult for me. It should not be that difficult, but it's that difficult for me. <sighs> Damn it. So bad at it. Yes. We getting flippy floppies. Uh wahaha. What do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask of me? I want the flippers. Wahaha. But I don't just give flippers away for free. I sell them for five hundred rupees a pair. You got a deal, bro. Alright, he's going to throw out a free bottle for us, too. Lord only knows where that bottle could be. Can we find it? 
the answer may, may surprise you. The answer is yes. Yeah, we can find it. Let's go get that hair piece. Yes. Yes, please. I don't think there's anything over this way, but we'll check anyway. Nope. Yep, I just did that. Okay. Let's go upgrade our shield and our boomerang, and if there's anything else to upgrade, we'll figure it out. But I don't remember. I truly don't. Throw in an item. Boomerang. I did drop this. Thanks, lady. Alright, what else can we throw in besides... Well, there's definitely the shield, so we'll go for the shield. A dinky little thing. Now our new one will actually stop fireballs. Because apparently the steel shield that we have doesn't stop fireballs. Which, I mean, makes sense. If fireballs go through anything, it's definitely steel, right? Jesus. Anyway, we have a better one. Alright, let's see if anything else can be thrown in. I don't think so. Let's try. Uh, well, that uh, uh, bombs. No, 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 no. I mean, let's try it. I don't. I. It'd be fucking weird if it updated your like first sword. Yeah, don't drop it again. That's exactly okay. All right, so we've upgraded. We're upgraded. We got our stuff. Um, and we just have to go back to the witch, and, uh, the witch will give us the powder. And we can get the, uh, third bottle, too. Which ain't too shabby. Third bottle means three fairies, which means way easier to stay alive in the later parts of this game. There we go. All right. Wait. Really? Still not gonna give it to me? Oh! <laughs> it was in size. That makes sense. All right. Let's go get the bottle. I don't even remember where else to find fairies right now, so we're just gonna get the bottle. Boom. Uh it's 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 at this bridge. I don't remember what side of the bridge has the bottle on it. One side does, one side doesn't. Okay. So that side has the bottle. Let's go get ourselves a bottle. Alright, let's see. Let's get our swim swam on the way here. Then we'll just exit the game and we'll start over at Link's house so we don't have to make the run all the way back there. Thank you! Thanks, sir. Much appreciated. Let's uh, save and quit. This is uh, way faster than walking back sometimes. 
You just go here and start from uh, Kuma's house, right? This is senseless. We're just right here. Okay, so let's go fight the wizard man. Time to fight the wizard. Oh, wait, no. It's time to get the master sword. Idiot. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Let's, uh, let's do this again because we should start the sanctuary. Right? Yeah. Uh, start the sanctuary. Master sword's right down the road now. Wait, that. I just realized I went in and got that mushroom. And didn't go all the way to get the master sword. Wow. I'm a special kind of stupid, eh? Oh well, uh, I guess we can go up this way. Uh, sure. Let's get that master sword. Doo doo. Not gonna lie, I always forget my way around this place, so if I get it this first try without having to change direction, I'm going to be stoked. Oh shit, I found it right away. Look at that. Just like I said. Just like I said. Yes, bye. Oh. Give me that sword. Oh yeah. We got a master sword. Suddenly, Sahar. Sahar. Sahasrila. Suddenly, Sahasrila contacts you telepathically. Kumba, it is extraordinary, extraordinary, extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can defeat the wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please, Kumba. You got it, dude. Damn, missed it, missed it, missed it. All right. Help! The soldiers are coming. Aye. Cool. All right. Let's uh, let's let's do this little trick again. Cause let's uh, just. All right. My shit. Why, why my my shit just died. <laughs> uh. That's the problem. That is the problem with these damn wireless wireless controllers. Especially. Uh, I love this one actually. It's awesome. But it doesn't actually give me like a, a little like red light or anything. Be like, hey, you're about to run out of power. It just kind of dies. Yeah. All right, so let's do this again. I'll save and quit. Go back in. And we're going to start from Kumba's house. Fill up our hearts. All right, ready to rock. Let's go beat the wizard. Alrighty. And switch this over. Oh yeah, this is open. I can just walk through here now. I always forget about that. Actually, I, I actually remember the last time I played this game. Um, I just went all the way through, like, like the regular way. Like, uh, I went through the basement to get all the way up here. Oh, I love that noise. Alright, let's do this. Boom! Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, that only stops him for a split second. I can't believe I just dodged the, that mace from both of them guys. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. I feel like I've been doing this way too long. That's probably because I am actually doing multiple videos. All in one. Ah, oh, I was gonna try to catch her. Oh, well, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't think I'm gonna need three fairies to fight the wizard. He's pretty easy. Or easy-ish, I guess. Oh wait, I have this. Yeah, that's right too. Alright. Oh yeah, there's a key. I need a key. Need the key. This one? Nope. Uh, I could have just used some magic to light one of these things, but no. Apparently, I'm not gonna do that. Apparently, I don't need. I don't need lice. I can see all. All right. It's the same room as before. It's the exact same room, same bad guys and stuff. But, uh... Oh, you bastard! Oh, well. Just, just, just to be sure, I'm just gonna light, I'm just gonna light up one of these, so I can see where the frig I'm going. Cause my memory's not that great. There we go. A boom! Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That was frustrating. See how quiet I get when I'm trying to concentrate on something? The funny thing is, all these knights are so much more powerful than the actual wizard, in my opinion. Like, yes, the wizard has magic, but these dudes will kick your ass. Like, they get up on, like, close up on you. And that's it, bro. But the wizard's just like, I'm gonna stand in one spot, and I'm sure I'll get him. my hearts. There better be hearts in here. There we go. And a bomb. And a heart. And a, and a heart. There we go. Jesus. Like human hearts cost money, right? And screw that room. <laughs> screw that room. Ugh, screw this room too! Jesus! Later, dude. Alright, I must be, uh... Yeah, okay, here we go. 
He's all like, bro, I'm escaping. You'll never find me. I got Zelda, bro. Now, I might be crazy, but I never realized his eyes were actually his eyes. I was looking at what his crown is, or his, like, his headdress, as his face. And I was like, this is a weird looking dude. Only to then realize that, like, it's actually just something he's wearing on his head. I'm, I never said I was smart. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Boom. Yeah. Think you're so tough. I know all your tricks, dude. Most of them. Yeah. Suck it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We already got five hits in. I don't remember how many it takes to kill them. Well, it's not many. There we go. Yeah. Defeated. Bam. Kumba, it is I, Sasrala. I am communicating to you across the void through telepathy. The palace where you now stand was the golden land for evil power turned it into the dark world. The wizard has broken the wise man's seal and opened the gate to link the world to Hyrule Castle. In order to save this half of the world, the light world, you must win back the golden power. You must also rescue the seven maidens who Agonim, Agonim, Ag Agonim sent to the Dark World as members of the bloodline of the seven wise men. They have power that will surely help you. The maidens are locked in hidden dungeons full of evil creatures and dangerous traps. The Palace of Darkness should be your first goal in this world. Kumba, I can rely on only you. Please make this old man's wishes come true. I beg you. Bam. All right, everybody. Uh, well, that does it for episode two. I thank you very much for joining me. Um, like I said, we're going to keep to the schedule best we can. Um, and uh, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe, like, uh, comment, hit the little bell notification thing if you want. I don't, you know, I don't care, man. As long as you guys are watching, that's cool. And uh, any suggestions for videos, any games you want me to play, all that fun stuff, you just let me know. Thanks again for stopping by. Love you all. Have a great day. Peace.